Hello, welcome to Daily News from Ajaya TV. Daily scientific gathering held by Grand Ayatollah Shirazi in the holy city of Qom. The House of His Eminence Grand Ayatollah Shirazi in the holy city of Qom hosted another session of his scholarly meetings. These meetings are attended by various groups of seminarians, clerics, and scholars who ask their questions from the Grand Ayatollah Shirazi. The questions in the latest round of these meetings revolved around various topics on the resurrection of Jesus, the qualitative differences between obligatory and recommended prayers, the interpretation of verse 123 of Surah Al-Baqarah, the meaning of justice and integrity, etc. Furthermore, one of the attendees asked the following question from His Eminence. Is preemptive jihad to protect Islam or to expand the Islamic territories permissible? In response to this question, the esteemed religious authority stated, The prevailing opinion among Shia jurists and scholars is that preemptive jihad is not legitimate and permissible because the evidence from the Quranic verses and narrations do not support this view. Furthermore, one of the arguments for this stance is the actions of the Holy Prophet of Islam and Imam Ali peace be upon them as two infallible figures who had authority and all their wars were defensive in nature with no preemptive wars. The dear viewers can tune in these scholarly meetings every day at 11.15 a.m. Qom local time, live on Marjaya TV and other Shia TV networks, as well as the Al Shirazi application. Commemorations of Holy Prophet's martyrdom at House of Sayyid Ahmad Shirazi in Kuwait. A grand ceremony to commemorate the anniversary of the martyrdom of the Holy Prophet of Islam was held at the residence of Sayyid Ahmad Shirazi, the son of the esteemed Grand Ayatollah Sayyid Sadr Husseini Shirazi in Kuwait. This event took place on the night of the 27th of Safar in the current year, with the participation of numerous mourners and believers, including religious and cultural figures. Activities by Shia Societies Association in Iraq on the occasion of the Islamic Prophet's martyrdom. The Shia Societies Association affiliated with Grand Ayatollah Shirazi in Karbala continues its activities on the occasion of the martyrdom days of the Holy Prophet of Islam. In this regard, on the 26th of Safar 1445, they paid a visit to the procession organizers serving the pilgrims and the holy city of Najaf on their way from Karbala to Najaf. During the visit, they conveyed the greetings and prayers of the esteemed Grand Ayatollah Sayyid Sara Husseini Shurazi and were informed about the activities of these processions. Here are some of the service processions that hosted these delegations. The procession of Lady Umul Benin, the service of the Chosen One, the procession of Imam Hassan, the procession of Malik Ashtar, the procession of Lady Rugaya, and the procession of the youth of Abul Fadlil Abbas. <laughs> I'm 
عني غبيت ما ظل عالبدن نشار عريان حتى من العمامة تسلبت يدليني قلبي قلت هذا هو وخذني على دربي Zainabiyah Seminary commemorates martyrdom of Holy Prophet of Islam in Syria. A ceremony to honor the anniversary of the martyrdom of the Holy Prophet of Islam was held at the Zainabiyah Seminary, one of the educational centers affiliated with the religious authority in the city of Damascus, Syria. This event was attended by religious and scholarly figures, students and professors from the Zainabiyah Islamic Seminary, as well as the general faithful. The attendees benefited from the speeches delivered by Sheikh Akram al-Karabiji. Office of Grand Ayatollah Shirazi mourns martyrdom of Holy Prophet and Imam Reza peace be upon them in Lebanon. The office of the esteemed Grand Ayatollah Sayyid Sadr Hosseini Shirazi in Beirut, Lebanon, commemorated the martyrdom anniversary of the Holy Prophet of Islam and Imam Reza peace be upon them through mourning ceremonies. These ceremonies took place over two days on Friday and Saturday with the participation of religious and social figures and the general public. During these gatherings, the attendees had the opportunity to listen to the speeches of the Islamic scholars, Sheikh Rizwan Darwish and Sheikh Eliel Hamada. Commemorations of Holy Prophet of Islam at Ghasr Zahra Husseiniyah in Holy Kazimain, Iraq. The women's section of the Ghasr Zahra Husseiniyah, an institution affiliated with the religious authority, observed the anniversary of the martyrdom of the Prophet of Mercy, Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, in the holy city of Kazimain. The ceremony featured morning rituals and was attended by hundreds of women who gathered at the Hosseinia to pay their respects. Additionally, during this event, over a thousand pieces of fabric for chador were distributed to these participants. Najaf Center for Strategic Studies runs service and cultural programs. The Najaf Center for Strategic Studies and CSS, one of the institutions associated with the religious authority in the holy city of Najaf, concluded its service and cultural activities on the occasion of the martyrdom of the Holy Prophet of Islam, may God's peace and blessings be upon him and his family. This center provided services to pilgrims, including a center for answering religious and doctrinal questions, a book exhibition, and a hospitality tent, where brochures on addiction awareness were distributed. These services were available to the pilgrims for a period of three days, in line with the recommendations of the esteemed Grand Ayatollah, Sayyid Sada Hosseini Shirazi. Ahlul Bayt Center commemorates martyrdom of Holy Prophet of Islam in Madagascar. A morning ceremony to commemorate the martyrdom of the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him was held at the Ahlul Bayt Center, an institution associated with the religious authority in the city of Mahajanga, Madagascar. This gathering, attended by dozens of Shia Muslims, particularly the youth, featured a speaker who discussed the qualities and biography of the Messenger of Mercy, Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. Activities of Inquiry Stand of Grand Ayatollah Shiraz's office in Holy Kazimain, Iraq. A service stand for answering religious questions operated by the Public Relations Office of the Grand Ayatollah Sayyid Sara Husseini Shirazi was set up in the holy city of Kazimain, Iraq during the days leading to the martyrdom of the Holy Prophet of Islam. This stand provided religious and doctrinal services to the pilgrims, including answering questions on Islamic law and belief, hosting morning gatherings and distributing religious products, including works by the esteemed Grand Ayatollah Shirazi. PR Office of Grand Ayatollah Shirazi mourns martyrdom of Prophet of Islam in Holy Kabbalah, Iraq. The public relations center of the esteemed Grand Ayatollah Sayyid Sada Hosseini Shirazi in Kabbalah, Iraq, held a ceremony to honor the anniversary of the martyrdom of the Holy Prophet of Islam, Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. This event was attended by religious and cultural figures, as well as mourners who paid their respects and listened to speeches delivered by Sheikh Abbas Momen. 
PR Office of Grand Ayatollah Shirazi mourns Islamic Prophet's martyrdom in Holy Najaf, Iraq. In commemoration of the martyrdom of the Noble Prophet of Islam, a mourning ceremony was held at the Public Relations Office of the Grand Ayatollah Sayyid Sadr Husseini Shirazi in the holy city of Najaf. This ceremony took place on the 28th of Safar in the current year and was attended by religious and cultural figures as well as mourners of the Holy Prophet of Islam. During this gathering, the attendees benefited from the speeches delivered by Sheikh Zulfiqar al-Badiri. Umul Benin Institute mourns martyrdom of Holy Prophet of Islam in Maysan Province, Iraq. Umul Benin Institute, affiliated with the Office of the Religious Authority Grand Ayatollah Shirazi in Maysan Province of Iraq, held a ceremony to commemorate the anniversary of the martyrdom of the God's final messenger, the Holy Prophet of Islam. The ceremony was attended by groups of Shia believers and lovers of Ahl bayt peace be upon them, who listened to a speech delivered by Shaykh Saad ad daraji In his remarks, Shaykh ad daraji talked about the peaceful and non-violent methods of the Islamic Prophet. 